circuit analysis of a parallel LR circuit. Consider a parallel circuit made up of a 150 millihenry coil and a 50 ohm resistor supplied by 12 volt peak 50 hertz signal. The first step is to calculate the inductive reactance of the coil using the formula XL equals 2 pi FL. This results in a value of 40 angle 90 degrees ohms. Now R is 50 ohms. Now the impedance of the parallel circuit using the parallel formula R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2 following the same method you use for the DC circuit analysis you get 47 angle 90 ohms multiplied by 50 angle 0 ohms divided by 47 angle 90 plus 50 angle 0 ohms but from your previous work on um, the series circuit um, you should easily be able to calculate that 47 angle 90 plus 50 angle 50 angle 0 is equal to 68.8 angle 43.2 ohms now Z impedance would now be 47 angle 90 times 50 angle 0 divided by 68.6 angle 43.2 this gives 2350 angle 90 divided by 68.6 angle 43.2 resulted in an uh, impedance of 34.3 angle 46.8 ohms. Next we will continue now to work out the current in the circuit. Now the, 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 the supply current is equal to the V supply divided by the impedance which is 12 angle 0 volts. Remember that the supply um, voltage is taken as, as angle 0 so as a reference. So it's 12 angle 0 volts divided by 34.3 angle 46.8 ohms, which results in 0 0.350 angle negative 46.8 amps. Now the current through the resistor is the voltage supply divided by the resistance. And, in, and this would be 12 angle 0 volts divided by 50 angle 0 ohms remember that the phase relationship for the resistor is angle 0 and this gives 0 0.24 angle 0 um, degrees amps the current through the inductor remember it's a parallel circuit so the supply is the same as the voltage supply is the same as across the resistor and it is 12 volts, 12 angle 0 volts divided by 47 angle 90 ohms, which results in 0 0.255 angle negative 90 degrees amps. Now we can check to see if the current through the resistor and the current through the inductor adds up to the supply current. Now we need to add vectorally a supply. Um, add vectorially so the supply current will be IR plus IL which is 0 0.24 angle 0 um, amps plus 0.255 angle minus 90 amps now to add vectorially you need to add the magnitudes first the magnitude is 0 0.240 squared plus 0 0.255 squared take a square root of that and it results in 0 0.35 zero now the angle is the tan inverse of the the magnitude of the inductive current divided by the magnitude of the resistive current and it gives tan to the minus one of 0.255 divided by 0 0.240 which gives 46.7 degrees um, now looking over at the diagram on the right you will see that the the inductive current is lagging by 90 degrees and the the resistive current is along zero degrees so this this current supply current will lag at an angle so that ang 
angle will be negative. So it results this angle being uh, minus 47 degrees. So the supply current is 0 0.35 angle negative 46.7 degrees. This concludes the data, the circuit analysis for a parallel um, resistor inductor um, AC circuit.